Fiscal challenges and global competition threaten the premier leadership position of the U.S. in science and engineering. This has an adverse impact on our national economy and is also felt here in Delaware. Since 1990, more than 17,000 manufacturing jobs have been lost in our state due to the decline of mature industries such as automobile manufacturing. Other sectors of the Delaware economy have suffered from globalization, consolidation, and downsizing. Delaware needs a new generation of science and technology-based industries to fill the gap left by the loss of our previous economic base. Delaware EPSCOR is making significant progress toward the goal of translating complex scientific research into meaningful societal and economic benefits. In just 10 years, we have helped to mobilize scientific and engineering resources to ensure that our potential for innovation is realized. We have built an entrepreneurial ecosystem that inspires and nurtures translational technology development. EPSCOR-funded research has led to the formation of three new high-tech companies, 10 patents, 47 additional patents pending, and two products licensed. Our invention is an infrared spectrometer system that is a thousand times faster than current systems with improved stability and ruggedness. We leveraged the initial EPSCOR investment of $10,000 to attract an additional $1 million to develop our product. EPSCO funds enabled us to create a new course, High Technology Entrepreneurship, team taught by business and engineering faculty. Since it began in 1999, approximately 1,000 students have taken the course. More than 100 virtual companies have been created, of which approximately 10% have evolved into real companies that have remained in Delaware. One of the great success stories from UD's High Technology Entrepreneurship course is referenced in the biography of Steve Jobs. Our student, Wayne Westerman, and his research advisor, John Elias, developed a new business plan for their multi-touch technology company called Fingerworks. Apple actually acquired their company two years before the iPhone was launched. So every time we swipe a finger across a smartphone or tablet, we remember NSF, EBSCOR, and UD had a hand in it first. OEIP, the Office of Economic Innovation and Partnerships at the University of Delaware, functions as the economic arm of the statewide EPSCO program. We provide technical, business, marketing, and intellectual property experience and support. One of the unique initiatives of OEIP is the spin-in program. Early stage startup companies come to the university to address obstacles they lack the expertise to overcome. They partner with teams of undergraduates and faculty who have the requisite skills to work out realistic solutions and move the company forward. This academic, public, private partnership encourages companies to locate, stay and create jobs in Delaware. My collaboration with Dr. Harsh Base focuses on plant microbe interactions and the use of beneficial microbes to improve the quality of plant crops. A microbial seed coating developed in our labs has the potential to help farmers grow healthier and more productive crops here in Delaware and around the world. The Office of Economic Innovation and Partnerships at the University of Delaware is facilitating the translation of our science into commercial applications. With ongoing support from EPSCOR, Delaware will continue to cultivate scientific research, innovations, patents, and startup companies. Collectively, these will result in jobs and revenue that are crucial to our national competitiveness.